recently, God has been teaching me how to experience Him. I went to a Bible college. In Bible college, it's so easy to, to, to talk about God and not and to have a, a head full of knowledge to know all the fancy theological terms and which guys who's been dead for a couple hundred years said this, which has influenced this doctrine. And, and head knowledge is really where I started to excel. And recently God is starting to show me that it's not enough and that he's, he's after the, the whole person, he's after the heart and the simple things of the faith have started to confound me and to, things like forgiveness you know I've started to see how devastating one person's sin could be, not just in their own life, but in people's lives around them. And then to see people forgive them over and over. And you just stop and think that if a person can do that, what about God? I heard a book one time called The Ragamuffin Gospel. It's by Brennan Manning, and he defined God's grace as furious love. And one of the things that he talked about was how we go before God naked and covered and our sin and that God loves us in spite of ourselves you know in, in college you had to memorize a bunch of verses and you know to be able to support this doctrine or whatever one of the ones I remember the most is that you know while we were yet sinners Christ died for us and that's that's awesome when I became a Christian when I was nine I'm be 28 this year, so I've been a Christian for the majority of my life, almost 20 years. And the worst things that I've ever done as a person were after I was a Christian. And to think that the people that I've hurt and ultimately sinning against God, that He can just forgive me. And that no matter what I do, that love doesn't go away. I don't think I'll ever understand. And I don't even know how to accept it. It's just too much. Since everything that's happened with our circumstances, you know, Sean lost his job in November. We found Crossbridge in January, and the abundance of wonderful things that have happened to us in that time have just yeah. blown our minds. And I just feel like it's our relationship with God has grown so much closer, and we've grown closer to each other and our family. Um, and the community at Crossbridge has been amazing. Just, just the outpouring of support and friendly faces and smiles that we meet all the time. It's just a complete blessing to us. I mean, I don't think I ended up coming to Tallahassee for a job. I think I came mm -hmm. to Tallahassee actually 
um, so that I might um, experience the community of faith at Crossbridge and that, that my life and our life might be affected um, by that and really to equip us um, as we move on to the next place and phase of our life. So um, just learning to, to trust and um, yeah. <laughs> easier to say than it is to do. But when I think that something's not in, in God's plans or in our future, mm -hmm. that um, I don't know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> only he does, apparently. In my own personal journey, um, I know that there's been a peace that's kind of come over me in the past several months when one day I just said, it's in your hands, God. And I can't really do much about it, but just let you do work, your work. And um, and things just started happening. It was wonderful. The job situation started looking brighter. Our house uh, selling, and people interested in our house started looking up. I just give God the credit for it. So it's been a pretty amazing six months <laughs> since we've been at Crossbridge and just really yeah. letting God lead our lives. I've been wanting to get baptized for quite a while and I just never quite found the, the right place, the right group of people, or the right reasonings why. Um, but when we first came to Crossbridge, um, I was listening to Mark, on our, it was our first time being there, and Mark said something to the effect that um, being Christian is, it's not a laundry list, it's just the way you live your life. And at that moment, just everything came together for me. And, um, it made me realize that that's what I've been doing all along. And it was just a confirmation that I needed. And ever since that day, I've just really opened my heart up to God. And just my life really feels changed. And I'm so happy to be here and just so happy to be taking this journey. And I'm really excited about getting baptized. <laughs>